Okay, let's go to question number 24. It's from Collision. A mass m is moving with speed 2v along x. Another mass 2m moving with speed v along y. The collision is perfectly inelastic. Means they stick together after collision. And we got to calculate the percentage loss in energy due to collision. After they stick, they would become a combined mass 3m having speed vx and vy. Owing to momentum conservation, I can write 2mv is 3m vx. In other words, vx is 2v by 3. That's an x component speed. Similarly, 2mv is the y component momentum. 2m mass into speed and that would be y component momentum 3m vy so this gives vy equals to 2v by 3 and final speed could be calculated easily by root of vx square plus vy square now with these things on my disposal i could say that the initial kinetic energy is one half m 2v square plus one half 2m v square and the final kinetic energy would be 1 half 3m vf square where vf has been calculated. Now I have initial kinetic energy, I have final kinetic energy, the percentage loss the required would of course be k final minus k initial by k initial into 100 percent. This would give you a negative value and that of course signifies the kinetic energy is lost and that will lead you to option number one. So the solution for question number 24 comes out to be the first option. Question number 25 again from thermodynamics quite a lot of repetition you must have noticed and in an adiabatic expansion the average time of collision between molecule that means the relaxation time has been asked increases as v raised to the power q v is the volume and we need to find the value of q in terms of gamma we know the relaxation time is the mean free path by the rms speed and this particular lambda that is 1 by root 2 pi d square n by v the number of molecules per unit volume and VRMS has of course is root 3RT by M. Now out of all these things the variables are only the temperature and volume. So this becomes equals to K V by root T. And now I got to convert temperature in terms of volume and that's quite an easy process because T V gamma minus 1 is constant. So T would be directly proportional to V 1 minus gamma. Putting that value here I get K V by V 1 minus gamma by 2 and taking upstairs so that's going to be K V 1 plus gamma by 2. And the correct option now would be the relaxation time is directly proportional to V raised to the power 1 plus gamma by 2 which has option number 1. So question number 25 had correct option as the first option.